Good morning, guys. It is July the 3rd, 2020. So happy July the 4th to you this morning. Tomorrow is July the 4th, but it is actually being observed today in a lot of businesses, banks, the post office, different things are being, it's being observed today. So I just want to say happy 4th to you. If this is the first time you have ever watched me, my name is Sheila Texter. This is Sheila Texter's One Stop Coaching Channel, where every Wednesday and Friday I put out videos. Wednesday, I share my journey on writing my book, and I also share tips on writing. I'm not by no means an expert in writing, but I did learn a little bit, and I am continuing on that journey. I am, as of right now, even writing a, a second book, and also writing some B devotionals. Now, not sure just when the second book will be out. It's just going to be part. I'm going to be writing it as I am uh, going in my journey, so to speak. And then on Fridays, I bring a coaching tip, an inspirational thought, uh, something motivational, inspirational, something to transform and get your mind to think on a different level. That's my goal on Fridays. I, my, I'm a transformational coach, that's my goal. I have the certificate, I went through a course and got some, a certificate and I have a little bit of uh, knowledge under my belt, so to speak, I guess. But I know that what it's done for me, I know the path that I've been on where I was and where I am today. And I want to see other people get to where I am. Now, I'm not talking about materialistic or anything like that. I'm just talking about a perfect peace, a perfect peace that only comes from God. Because on my transformational coaching uh, business is faith-based. I will always bring a scripture to you. If you look at my picture, a lot of times on my coaching channel, and I think it's on my uh, Sheila's One Stop, even my Facebook, Sheila's One Stop uh, page, I think I'm holding a Bible and I'm saying, changing your world one scripture at a time. This morning, um, I've got a, a thought in, in, in my mind but before I go there, I just want to share just a little bit more of my goal as a coach. My goal is to help you find your purpose, help you find that drive, that sweet spot, that passion. And then once you find it, I want to help you activate it. I want to help you bring it alive and help you on your journey to get from point A to point B. Because that's what I did. So, a sleeping giant awoke in me back in 2014. And it has been nothing but moving forward ever since. But today I want to talk about 10 scriptures. I've got them here. 10 scriptures on about being happy. Now, I wrote down what happy means uh, off of the internet. Their explanation of happy is a feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Happy equals contentment. Happy is not necessarily running around all day. Yay, yay, I'm happy, I'm happy. Happiness can simply mean you are content. You have commit. You have contentment in your life. You have perfect peace because your mind has stayed on Him. Everybody thinks about happy to me is like they're looking for that happy place. Happy is not a place. Happy is a decision. Happy is uh, is an emotion that comes with sometimes a simplicity. Sometimes we we say, well, when I when I get married, I'll be happy. Or when I get out of this marriage, I'll be happy. When I get a baby, I'll be happy. Well, when my children leave home, I'll be happy. When I get that job, I'll be happy. You, you can't 
your happiness cannot depend on where you're at, what you're doing, what you've got, because if it does, then you're going to find yourself more times not happy than happy. And if we, if we say happy means that everything is perfect in your world, people that are happy, they don't have no problems, there's nothing going on, deaths ain't, a, deaths ain't affecting them, that you can't say that because if you did, then basically nobody would ever be happy. Nobody would ever be happy because nobody ever gets to a place that life does not affect them. I don't care how rich you are, how poor you are, uh, movie stars, football players, basketball players, well-known, worldwide, life will affect you in some way, form, or fashion. So happy has to be a decision. But I want to read these 10 scriptures right quick because my plan is whenever I make a video, I don't want to stay on here no more than 10 or 15 minutes because I know people's time is precious. But I challenge you today to after I read these scriptures and after you've heard what I've already said, that you will look at happy a different way. That no matter what is going on, you can still be happy. But I want to read these scriptures. They're, they're, most of them are in Psalms and Proverbs. Very short verses, very simple. But I want to show you how far we are sometimes as humans from the meaning of happy. In Job 5 and 17, just imagine even the word happy being in the book of Job. Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Psalms 127 and 5. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. Now this is probably, I want to think it's probably talking about children. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Psalms 144 and 15. I'm not going to try to explain each scripture because each scripture is probably took from a different context. But I just want to read them in this video today. Psalms 144 and 15. Happy is that people that in such a case, yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Psalms 146 and 5. Happy is he that have the God of Jacob for his help whose hope is in the Lord his God. Our happy is in our hope in the, in the Lord. Proverbs 3 and 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Get you some wisdom. Get you some understanding. And you will see happy in a whole different way. Proverbs 14 and 21. He that despiseth his neighbor sinneth. I wonder how many today is despising their neighbors. But he that have mercy on the poor, happy is he. Proverbs 16 and 20. He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good. He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good. We could all learn from this scripture today with all that's going on on the media and whoso trusteth in the Lord happy is he Proverbs 28 and 14 happy is the man that feareth always but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief Proverbs 29 and 18 where there is no vision I love this one. Where there's no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. When you try to do what is right, and you try to walk and you do what God has called you to do, and you walk this Christian walk, you will find happiness beyond anything that you could ever imagine. The last one, number 10, Romans 14 and 22. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. 
Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. Now, I mean, I could expound on that a little bit, but that's in a, almost a whole different ball game right there. But still, happy is that man that condemneth not himself. You know, we, I've never seen a time seem like where people are so negative on their selves, not just other people, but on their selves. And when you do that, when you speak against yourself and your life and your marriage and I'm just, I'm so depressed and ain't nothing going right and I, I, I should have knew that was going to happen. When you have that kind of mindset, it sets you up. It sets you up for bad things to happen and it or for you to respond to those bad things in a whole different way because no matter how good we speak or no matter how positive we speak bad still happens and it happens to good people life happens life happens to us all so today I want to challenge you to choose to be happy. Happy is that man that getteth wisdom. Not happy is that man that wisdom is given to. Happy is that man that getteth. That means you've got to do something to get it. Get in the Word of God, I'm telling you. There's, there is nothing like the Word of God. It, it is life. It is peace. It is joy. It will fix so many things in your life. It will help you with everyday challenges, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, no matter, you know, no matter what. You can choose today to be happy because happy is a feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. We can, we can have contentment through the Word of God, through, through God. And be happy no matter what is going on in our lives. So I'm going to get off of here today. Thank you for being with me. I asked you to subscribe to my channel. Share my channel. Hit the like button. Comment. Engage with me. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll do my best to get back to you. Y'all have a great 4th of July. I'm not sure. A lot of people are traveling. Some people are not. I'm here in Blyville, Arkansas. We are not, we were going to go out of town this weekend, but we felt impressed of the Lord to not go. It was about three and a half hours away up, uh, up around uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. My husband's mother lives up there, and we were going up there, but we felt, or my husband felt in his spirit that we shouldn't go nowhere. So we're not for sure what that means or or what God is keeping us from we don't know but we've learned over the years to be sensitive to God and his and his guidance and when he says something to us we want to be obedient y'all have a great fourth have a great Friday enjoy your weekend be safe and I I just if I had anything to say today to you pray 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 get in your Bible read 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 Make sure your relationship with God is strong and you have that connection that you need with the creator of the universe. Until next Wednesday, y'all have a great day.